Okay, so a lot of the fans have been commenting and asking and messaging and begging about a DSi XL unboxing or review. And I keep telling people, no, I'm not going to do it because it's just a bigger DSi. Well, yeah, I didn't actually buy this. I actually won it at a stacker a mere few hours ago. I swear, it's the honest truth. I just didn't get it on video, unfortunately. But trust me when I say I did just get this at a stacker. I still kind of can't believe it for myself. And I figure I got it, so might as well do an unboxing. That's all I plan on doing is an unboxing because it's a bigger DSi. There's not much to say about it. But let's go ahead and see how this looks in person. And all the people who want an unboxing so bad, <laughs> you can finally get your wish. I'm kind of curious to see the size difference myself. Let's see here. Big box. Lots of manuals. I already have Nintendo Power. Thank you kindly. Don't care about any of that. Now, is it the same charger? Yes, it is the same charger. Okay, that's good. And... Wow, this thing is big. Okay, first impressions that come to my mind. Big, thick, wide. What are the first impressions? Big, again. Heavy? I don't know, let me... Uh, let's see here. Holy guacamole, that's huge. Um, there's my face. Uh, the buttons click just like they do on the DSi. Big power button. Uh, just the plastic feels different. Uh, more smoother than the plastic that's on the regular DSi, if that makes any sense to you. Well, on the outside, it's the regular shiny fingerprint magnet type plastic. See? Look at that. Fingerprint magnet. Woo! So, that's what they did on the outside here. It's the bronze colored one. Let's compare it to a regular DSi. Alright, let's see. Weight. It's only a little bit heavier. Not that much. It's noticeable, but it's still not bothering me that much. I wish they didn't make it heavier, but, you know, it's bigger. More DS means more weight. That's just how science works. I wish they put a higher resolution camera, though, but they did not. It's the same sad VGA camera. So there's the DSIs side by side. Thickness to thickness. They're almost the exact same thickness. DSI is a little bit thicker. And funny thing is, too, the DSI XL has a second point in the hinge that it locks to. Instead of just that, it also locks to that. Watch. There's one lock. And there's the other lock. And, you know, the third one, which brings the screen out all the way, which I've never played a DS like that. So, let's compare them side by side open. Yeah. Oh, great. Two shots of me in the same shot thingy. Yep, screens are definitely much bigger. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and power it on. Stylus. Man, that screen is huge. Um, here's the thing with the DSi XL. They made the screens bigger, but they didn't increase the resolution at all, so a lot of times text and stuff can look pixelated, as you can see. Where's the, um, where's the bigger stylus it's supposed to come with? There it is. The, uh, the pen style stylus that doesn't fit in the DS system. Can you replace it? Can you take this top part? It looks like you could take this top part off. Maybe? Possibly? Perhaps not? Or maybe you unscrew this? No. Okay. So I was wondering if this was like a stylus in a stylus that you could take out and replace, but you can't. So, we'll use the pen. This would actually, um... Yeah, I do kind of like the grip on the bottom now that I feel it. This would be good for games like, um... Oh, I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head yet. I play it all the time. The Warrior War game where you make your own mini games. Good game, by the way. This DS system would be great for that. Why can't I remember the freaking name of it? Maybe I've just got, like, new gadget syndrome and I can't remember. I wonder if the speakers go any louder. Mmm. No, about the, about the same volume as a regular DSi. Today's date. I think that's his date. 
the time, pff, I don't know what the heck time is it, uh, 10.40 p.m. There we go. My name, blah 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 At least the on-screen keyboard is a lot more usable with that. My favorite color. There we go. Parental controls, yeah, sure. Hm, I'm surprised it didn't say, like, XL or anything. No, I don't want to take a picture now. Shut up. Oh my god, shut up. You done giving me messages? Okay. So that's really all about their, uh, bleh. That's really all there is to say. I mean, uh, gripping it? Let's see. I'm, try I'm pressing the shoulder buttons. No, leave the camera. It is a lot more comfortable to grip, actually, but it's still a flat DS, so it still doesn't have the same grip as, say, the original Nintendo DS did, but which would you prefer, a flat, more pocketable DS, or the regular DS with the bumps on it, the back of it again? That still was the most comfortable DS to hold ever, though. So, and it's got the included games that I don't care about, Brain Age and the Photo Clock, whoop de flip and do ooh, it does have Flip Note. I don't remember if Flip Note was free or not, I know I have it on my DSi. Oh well, again, that's all there is about. Uh, that's about all there is to say. I screwed that up twice in a row. Like I said, I'm not going to do a review on it because, first of all, pretty much everyone and their grandmother has already, and second of all, again, it's a DSi, just bigger. Um, only difference, only thing is, is that the screens share the same resolution, so up close things can get a can get a bit pixelated. That's about all there is to say. So, DSi XL. There you go, guys.